you will stand as we go into prayer. Amen. And then we will turn the services into our teacher. And then we thank and praise God for her. Amen. Amen. Taking out the time to come from Stockton. Amen. Amen. To open up the word of God for, to us. Oh. Okay. I didn't know. Amen. Amen. So we praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you. For your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. Yes. Yes. We thank you for another opportunity to come to your house of worship. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you will bless out your word on tonight. Yes, we ask, O oh God, that you will anoint the vessel that you're going to use to open up the word to us so that we can get a deeper understanding and a closer walk with you in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask for your healing power. We ask for your anointing flow. We will give you name, glory. We give you honor. We will give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. One more time, just give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then once again, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And then once again, we thank and praise the God for the vessel that he's going to use on tonight. Amen. She was our uh, teacher or our instructor or our guest for our Sunday school. Amen. Banquet that we had, our Sunday school meeting that we had. Amen. A couple of weeks ago. Amen. And she is an, an, an anointed woman of God. Amen. And I enjoy her teaching. Amen. So we thank and praise God for her as she comes. We're going to ask that you will stand and grab your Bibles in your hand. Yes. Be ready to receive. Amen. What God has given to her to give to us. Amen. Can we say amen for Pastor Blaze as she comes in Jesus' name? Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. You can have your seats. God bless you. I we thank God for another opportunity to come to Zion. Amen. This is the church that I was born in, the church I was raised up in. The church that my grandfather began years and years and years ago, and it's still in good hands. We thank Amen. God that the enemy has not been able to close Amen. this church, but this church has grown and Amen. grown and grown and grown. Praise him. And we thank God for that. Yes. Uh, yes, I think I your pastor is not here tonight, but um, I, I feel in my spirit that I want to pray for him. Is that okay? Amen. Yes. Yes. Uh, for Pastor Deary. Um, I just want to lift him up. He's been on my heart. He's been in my yes. spirit. Yes. And um, I just feel if you would stand with me just to agree. Yes. Uh, God, we just want to touch his, ask God to touch him tonight. Father, in, in the name of Jesus, yes. we pray right now for yes. Pastor Deary. Yes. Yes. God, we pray right now, God, that he will do a miracle yes. in yes. Father right Jesus. now. God, we know that you are healed. We know that you can. Yes, but God, we're asking right now for a right speedy now. recovery, a, yes, a yes. miracle. Right? Yes, in the name of yes, Jesus. Yes, we ask God that you will touch him from the crown of his head yes, to the soul yes, of his feet. Yes, oh God, we yes, ask right yes. now that there will be a special, special anointing, a special healing yes, upon yes. him, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, we pray right now that you will touch his mind, oh God. Yes, thank he you. will not be able to play and touch with his mind during yes, this time of healing. God, we thank you right now that you are about to do super and abundantly yeah. over yeah. what we expect you to do, God, in the name yeah. of yeah. Jesus. We pray right now that you, Lord God, strengthen him yeah. in the name of Jesus. Let him be able, Lord God, to walk in this church, oh God, and shout, raise his hands up, God, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise God for what you're going to do. We yeah. don't even right now. But we thank you for doing it right now in Jesus' name. Everybody that loves God and believes God, say amen. Amen. What I say to God? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You may have your seats. Thank you. Amen. We thank God. We thank God for just being here again. I give honor. Amen. And to this shepherd of our house tonight, Pastor Bobby Deere, we pray God for his his healing, complete healing. Yes, uh, to the First Lady, Sister Nir, uh, uh, Nakia Deary, yes, and then to our assistant pastor on tonight, Elder Shelton, and to Lady Shelton tonight, Lita, I don't see her. Uh, um, to my own pastor, Bishop Troy Dockery, my pastor and my son and my boss and my everything. <laughs> and um, our First Lady, Lady Dolly, and she's not here tonight. Either. And so in their absence, we just, we honor them tonight. And all of you, you ministers, amen, you leaders, I greet you tonight in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, the Lord. And it's just good to be here, amen. amen. It's just good to be here. We were saying it earlier today. David said, I was glad, yes. amen, when he yes. said, let yes. us go yes. into the house of the Lord. 
And I wouldn't want to be any place else Amen. other than where the feast of the Lord is going on. Amen. Amen. Yes. No place else would I want to be. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go into the word on tonight. Um, if you have your Bibles, I, uh, I want you to turn with me to the book of, we're going to go to several scriptures on tonight. But I want to go to the book of Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. And I want to go to Jeremiah, the 29th chapter. And we're going to read a couple of verses from there. And we're going to run over to Psalms 145, verse 19. And after that, I'll give you the, the final scripture passage that we're going to go to tonight. But Jeremiah 29, verse 11 and 12, it says, For I know the thoughts that I have toward you, I think right. toward you, say is the Lord. Yeah. And he said, I have thoughts of peace, mm -hmm. not of evil, yeah. but to give you an expected end. Uh, that means that he's going to give you a hope in your latter days. Yes, Lord. Then, he, uh, then shall you call, you shall call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken, I will listen unto you. Yes, Lord. Psalms 145, verse 19, it says, He will fulfill the desire of them that fear or reverence him. Mm -hmm. And he says that he also will hear their cry yes. and save them. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing on that one. Philippians, tw uh, the second chapter, run with me. We're gonna do just 14 to 16, and that will be our scriptures for tonight. Philippians 2, 14 to 16. It says, do all things without murmuring and right. disputing or yeah. complaining, mm -hmm. that you may be blameless, blameless. And harmless, the sons of God, yes. without rebuke or without reproach or uncontaminated, if you will, right. in the midst of a crooked and a perverse nation, right. among whom you shine as lights. I want you to hear that. Among whom you shine yes. as lights in the world, holding forth what the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ. That I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. I'm going to prophesy to you tonight from the book of Jeremiah. And we're going to be talking about tonight, I'm expected to do greater. Somebody say that, I'm expected to do greater. Amen. How many of you are expecting greater things for your life in 2024? Amen. Uh, not that you weren't blessed. In 2023, because God kept us, didn't he? Yes, he did. and, and we survived or whatever the enemy meant for evil. Mm -hmm. And so God still got the glory out of our lives, didn't he? Amen. Sometimes when we think about life, life ain't fair. Is life right. fair? No. Life ain't fair because life does what it throws curves to us. But God's hand was there every time to catch whatever life you have to use. Amen. So we give God glory for that. Yeah. And the Bible said that Satan would have desired to sift us as weak, but God prayed yeah. that our faith fail not. Yes. Our faith fail not. And everything that we, we went through in that time, and maybe a year ago, 2023, even 2022, it was all part of God's plan and God's Amen. purpose. And because he kept us while we were going through those experiences, now we become, what, a little bit wiser. Is that right? We became a, a little bit wiser. We can see things a little bit clearer yeah. now because the hand of God was there and brought us out of the things that the enemy was trying to put in our way. And what the devil, the Bible said, meant for evil, yeah. God turned that thing around for good. Amen. So uh, we don't do the same things that, that, that we used to do. We don't make the same kinds of mistakes. That, we don't make the same kinds of decisions that we did. We don't even hang around the same people. Amen. 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 Ah, so the people that I hung around in 2023, we had to move them in 2024. Amen. Amen. Why? Because God did a work work in us. Yeah. And the work that God did in us, it makes no more room for mistakes. Amen. <laughs> we just can't do the same thing that we used to do. That's Amen. Right. So what am I saying? I'm saying that we are expected to do greater. Yeah. We're expected to be better. We're expected to do excellent things. <laughs> We're expected to be exceptional. Yeah. We're expected well, to be extraordinary. Yeah. And yeah. we're expected to be unique. Yeah. Yeah. God has done something in us 
us, that's yeah. causing us to look greater, to, to, to look better, to do better, to think better. So he touched our minds. And so from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet, yeah. God has done a new thing yeah. in us. Yeah. Uh, we're not the same as we were before. Yeah. All things, the Bible said, are what? Passed away. And behold, what? All oh, things. Shut and become new. Yeah. And so if we really pay attention to the scripture in Jeremiah, uh, it's very profound in its contextual content. Right. The verse is often interpreted as a message of hope and reassurance for God's people. And so it reminds us that God has a plan for our lives and that we can trust him to do what to guide us uh, toward better things. Amen. Uh, in our passage on tonight, Jeremiah was prophesying to Israel uh, because they were in trouble and they needed help. Yeah. Because of their disobedience, God allowed them to go into captivity for how long? 70 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, but he promised to bless them even while they were in captivity. Yeah. Somebody said his hand is always on us. Always he always never always leaves us. Right. But he said, even in your captivity, God says that I'm going to, I promise that I'm going to bring you out of that. But he said, in order for them to receive that promise that they had to have to align themselves with the will of God. All right. uh, there's nothing that God will withhold from us, but there is an alignment yeah. that we have to have. We have to align ourselves with the will of God. And so that same promise that God made to Israel applies to us today. Amen. So even while you were going through your struggles and you felt that God gave up on you, his hand was still on you. Amen. Yes. Amen. Uh, God said, I'm, going, I'm not going to ever leave you. Yeah. And I'm not going to forsake you, but I'm going to be with you wherever you're going. Uh -huh. And even though you were in captivity, you said, I still didn't turn my back on you. Ah, you know, uh, and that's the way it is with us today. We go out into the neighborhood. Yeah. We go into places that we don't even belong to. God allows us to go in. because, But he said that my hand is still upon you. So God is never because why? He has a plan for yeah. us. Amen. I know the plans that I have. You. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So even while we're going through those struggles, trust God is all he's saying. Uh -huh. He said, just trust me, trust me. Yep. So even while you were doing those things that you may not have been conducive and may have been against the will of God, uh -huh. uh, God says that I'm allowing you to do these things. Uh -huh. Why? Because you are on the potter's Wheel. Yes. We're just on the potter's wheel. When you're on the potter's wheel, you're gonna mess up. When you're on the potter's wheel, you're gonna make a mistake. He said, but don't don't try to get off the potter's wheel because on the potter's wheel, God is doing a new thing. I'm making you, I'm making you old. So he's doing a new thing. People look at your eyes and they try to judge you by what you look like what you're doing and they're judging you in the middle of your struggle and they don't know that you're on that part of the world. They can't see what God is doing on the inside of you. They're looking at you on the outside and judging from what they're looking at but God said don't judge nobody from the outside. Don't judge man by his appearance because I judge the heart. They don't know what your heart is doing. They don't know that you that you were on the part as we are. Because in order to receive any blessing from God, we've got to align ourselves with his will so that he is free to release his blessings to us. He can't do that if we don't get on the potter's wheel. Uh, but there is an exception or an expectation from God. And he said that if my people who are called by my name to do what? Humble themselves and do what? Pray and then do what? Turn and seek my face. He said, then I will hear from heaven and heal their land. That is an expectation that God is expected from us. And so when we talk about God's expectations, the expectations are actually twofold. Uh, not only am, now are we expecting to receive a greater blessing from him, but God is expecting greater from us. Yes, yes, yes. He's ready to deliver to us 
great works, a great work. But his expectation from us is to release a greater work. All right, okay. all right. Ah, uh, he said that greater works, but will you do uh -huh. right? Because I go to the Father. Uh -huh. So there is an expectation that God has from yes. his people. Don't Amen. just like you don't come to church and sit down and do nothing <laughs> and cross your hands and do nothing and come and shout and do nothing. But no, there is an expectation yeah. that God has from his people. Amen. Hallelujah. If you want to be in the will of God, you will allow him to do this work that he's getting ready to do in you. And I prophesy this to you tonight. Those of you that are sitting here even tonight, there is something that God is trying to do in you on tonight. You've got a call on your life that you have not even responded to yet. Ah, but God said that there's an expectation that I have. But listen to what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to line up with the will of God. You're going to have to Say yes to the Lord of God. Hallelujah. And so when we look at that word, expectation, according to its vocabulary, it means a strong belief in something that will happen soon or in the future. Yeah, yeah. Well, this definition is good for those that are in the natural realm. All right. uh, this is here. But we live in the spirit realm. Yeah, yeah. And so what we do is we walk by faith. Yeah. And, and faith allows us to see it before we see yeah, it. All right. Ah, and that's what we do. We look at what God is getting ready to do. And God said, there it is, there it is, there it is. And so God gives us the ability to see it before we see it. Ah, and that's our thing. Ah, and so another word used to describe uh, expectation is anticipation. Uh, this requires hope and excitement. So it's good also because the Bible said that faith is what the substance uh -huh. of things what oh, hope oh, for. Oh, and so faith and hope must coexist. Yeah, right. Right. Amen. You can't have one well, and don't have the other. Uh, so you can't you. have hope unless it's tied together with faith. Yeah, and so in essence, you have hope because you have faith. And you have faith because you have hope. All right. However, you don't just have faith in faith. We got faith because you're sitting in that chair. You got faith enough to yeah. believe that that chair is going to hold you. Yeah. So you just don't have faith in faith because there's real no real value in that. But the value is in the object of your faith and the uh, object uh, of your hope. And that makes all of the difference. Oh, yeah. well, who is the object of your <laughs> faith? Come on, Jesus is the object yeah. of your faith. So you are just bear right. with me. Really? I teach a little bit different. It's all right. But the world's expectation can determine their reality or their experiences <laughs> in life. And their experiences can impact the people that's around them. Uh, but our expectation lies in what we determine to receive from God. All because right. the Bible told us that I have not seen. Right. I neither the ear have not heard the things that God have but prepared for us that love him. Right. So when I first thought about this word expecting, my first thought was as a woman who was expecting to give birth. You know what women, we do say expecting when we think that it's us giving birth. A woman expecting to give birth. But God said that the magnitude of greatness is not in the giving, uh, but in delivering. All right. Okay. All right. There's a difference. Yeah. Giving and delivering. Yeah. Uh -huh. So my cognitive mind of thinking is that they're really one and the same. Ah, but I soon discovered that to give 
other means to provide something, to contribute to something. Uh, but to deliver mm. means to produce something. No. It means to release something. Mm. So God is taking something that would be considered great and releasing out of you something even greater. Mm. Greater work, she said, that Amen. you will be required because he had to go unto the Father. So what he's doing is he's giving you something greater uh, that is extraordinary. What is extraordinary? God has given you a, a new life. God has given you a new vision. God has given you a new mindset. God has given you a new attitude. God is giving you a new hope. So yeah. God is doing something new yeah, in you. He said all things are passed away. Behold, yeah. all things are becoming new. So that means everything in your path is becoming new. Yeah. If you can turn around now and say goodbye to your whole life. Yeah. Yeah. God is doing something greater in you. I prophesy that into your life. Mm. Here's a song that says, <laughs> A season of power and prosperity. Mm -hmm. And it's coming my way. I don't know the first part of that song. But I also hear the Lord say that He's given us a season of authority. Mm -hmm. Uh, that means that God is giving you the means to take charge of your own life. He's restoring back everything that the enemy stripped you of when you were going through your trials. Uh -huh. yeah. Jesus, thank mm, you, Lord. Mm, mm. That means that God is restoring to you your confidence. Yeah. God is restoring to you the ability and the power, the stamina, resilience, mm. strength, and fortitude. Uh -huh. uh, he's depositing within you his knowledge yes, and Lord. ability to accomplish thank and you. to execute things in ways that you never dreamed thank ever. You. Uh, God is giving you his mind. Uh, God is giving you his his vision yeah. so that you can see like he sees it, think like he thinks. Well, well. Let this mind be yeah. in you. That is also in Christ Jesus. Yeah. So he's giving you the ability to see his heart, to see his mind, to see his vision. And all of this is for your life. Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Him. Thank you, Lord. He's giving you his anointing. Mm -hmm. Yes, and he's giving you the power to use his authority in the earth. The authority is in his name. Yes, and yes, it's he's realizing through all of this, your dreams, your aspirations, mm -hmm. and your greatness. Yes. And so there's nothing the Bible says that God is going to withhold from you mm -hmm. that walk up right before you. Yes. I speak life into you even tonight. I speak that over your life. Our God is doing a new thing in you. Not Thank only you. is he doing a new thing in you, he's doing a new thing in this body. Yes. Uh, there's going to be some things that God's going to do in this body yes. that has never been done yes. before. Right. There's going to be people that are sitting out in yes. the congregation that God is going to anoint for such a time yes. as this. Oh, yes. They don't even know that God's hand is up on them. They don't even know that God's going to anoint well, them. But when I was praying about this, I saw a woman sitting in your midst. And I don't know who she is. I can't see her face. But there was a woman that was sitting. It seemed like she sits on this side. I don't know who she is. Uh, but I saw this woman. And God is taking not only this woman who looks like that God can't use her. It looks like that she comes from somewhere that we don't give her credit for. It looks like she's just an ordinary woman. But God takes the ordinary and he makes the extraordinary out of them. So God is going to pull some people out of your congregation that you don't even think are changes upon. But I need you to make room for them. God is going to make room for them. And so God is giving us everything that we need. He's depositing in us everything that we need to be great in the earth. The things that he's depositing in us are his treasures. Mm 
Uh, he's given you these treasures to bring glory to his name. Yeah. The most important treasure of God is his, his anointing. All right. yep. Is his anointing. Mm -hmm. And so in 2 Corinthians verse 6 and 7, it says we have this treasure where in our earthen vessels. Yeah. And that treasure that we have in these earthen vessels is God himself. Yeah. God living on the inside of us. That's why it's so needful to be aligned with him because when God gets ready to use us, he's going to release it from here. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes God. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. So that means that greatness comes with a cross because of the anointing that it carries with Jesus. it. Well, yes, Lord. Yes. To receive God's treasure in your earthen vessel, yes, there is an expectation that God requires from us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. And in order to obtain it, it simply requires the alignment to his will. Uh, but to contain it, it costs a little bit more. Yeah. In order for us to contain the treasure, we find that God has to break us. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. This sounds like an oxymoron. How can a vessel contain something if the vessel is broken? Uh -huh. Well, let me help you out. All right. All right. Brokenness mm -hmm. is the only way that he can use us yeah. to release his glory. Yeah. My, God. Us. Hey. My God. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. The only way that we can preach to others is to have endured yeah. the process of uh -huh. being broken uh -huh. and healed. this over your life. Yes, so I went down to the potter's house and behold he wrought or he made a work on the wheels. Mm -hmm. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again. That means that he reworked it. Mm -hmm. Another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make. And verse 6 says, Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, Amen. O Israel. Some of us had to experience dry seasons. And when it seemed that nothing was turning in our favor, but in actuality, God was turning things you, in our favor, but not the way we initially yeah, expected. Yeah. Uh -huh. God always comes. Yeah. Okay. Nothing was stated. It's not that we were living an unsaved lifestyle, but God expects a little more from those that He trusts to carry his anointing. That's good. Jesus. Amen. That's good. Wow. Amen. That's good. He knows when there are things in us mm -hmm. that are interfering with our relationship. Jesus. With him. Yes, Lord. Jesus. And he knows what we stand in need of. Mm -hmm. So yes, many of us have saved lives in our seasons may not have been as devastating as your neighbors. And so that caused us to appear as though we didn't need him as much as the neighbor needed him. Uh -huh. uh, so that didn't leave God any choice but to throw us back onto the potter's yes, wheel. Yes, uh, why? Because that was stinking thinking. Yeah. Uh, and so he put us back on the potter's wheel. Throwing is a term that's used by the potter that refers to forming or shaping 
or molding. And if you're still on the wheel, it's because you're not ready yet. Or right. you're still being what? Perfected. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. yes, Lord. So he will continue that cycle until he's satisfied that we're able to carry yes, the Lord. blessing that must be released from our vessel. Yes, Lord. Mm. Amen. What are the blessings? Jesus. <laughs> the Bible talks about this woman in the book of Mark mm -hmm. who brought an alabaster box yeah, huh? that contained pure spikenard. A spikenard is anointing, if you will, that contained the anointing. So this woman came into where Jesus was and she break the box and she poured the box over his head. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful. Thank thing. you, Lord. Jesus. Glory to your name. And so this happened at such a pivotal time mm -hmm. in that season because Jesus said that this gospel mm -hmm. shall be preached throughout the world as a memorial in her name. Yes. The same way he acknowledged her deed is how he's going to acknowledge you. Yes, Jesus, Thank hallelujah. You, he purposely uses the term pure to show that the treasure that's in the alabaster box is spiritual. Yes, Jesus, Lord. thank you, Jesus. But if the box is not broken, then the healing balm in the box yeah. cannot be released. Mm -hmm. oh my God, my God. Some of y'all forget this when you go home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the alabaster box represents our body. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Our body that contains the anointing. Uh -huh. What is the anointing? The healing balm of God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And we tend to forget that there's no value that's placed on the body, but the value is placed on the anointing right. that resides in, in the body. Yes. And so it's as we have this treasure where? In earthen vessels. Yes, Lord. Uh -huh. And if you are aligned with God, mm -hmm. no, they don't help him. Mm -hmm. He's able to break the alabaster box mm -hmm. to do what? To release yes, his Lord. treasure to his people. Oh, my God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Whatever that gift might be for you, you are that treasure. All right. Jesus. All right. Thank you, Lord. Preaching with a greater anointing. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Greater passion for souls. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Interceding with greater power. Yes. Laying hands on the sick mm. yes. with greater power. Yes. Oh. But he's going to be revealed through you. Yes, yes. To God. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is not recognized. Revealed. He's revealed. Yes. 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 How can he be revealed uh -huh. unless he's revealed through us? Uh -huh. Praise yes. him. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So the problem that we have is, is that some of us treasure our own selves, mm -hmm. thinking that because we wear a status, well, yeah, God. yeah, yeah, uh, because we have titles, uh, talking. because we got somebody carrying our Bible, oh, uh, my Lord, because been... we have an attaché case. Uh -huh. yeah. That we're more valuable uh -huh. Uh -huh. than the anointing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Have mercy. Jesus. Jesus. Sitting in our seat uh -huh. of judgment, mm -hmm. condemning others yeah. for not being where they need to be, uh -huh. when in actuality we're not qualified to judge uh -huh. because.
Jesus. So we're not qualified to judge because we only have our opinion. So the potter has total authority over the clay that he's molding. And if the clay is too hard for him to form, he will simply break it and remold it and rework it. Thank you, Jesus. Don't feel bad because you're on the potter's wheel. Mm -mm. That's a good thing. Amen. Because when you come off that potter's hey, hey. wheel, glory. <laughs> glory. you're going to shine as pure hey. gold. Hey, glory, hallelujah. When God gets to molding you, mm -hmm. when God gets to remaking you, yes, Lord. when God gets to depositing his anointing within you, well. you're going to be something that is reckoned with. Oh. Yes, the Lord. enemy will not be able to control Jesus, you. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bless your name. When we're going through the process of being broken, mm -hmm. sometimes it hurts. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we feel like that we're not going to make it. Mm -hmm. right. Jesus, mm -hmm. Jesus. Sometimes the enemy wants you to give up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's really what he wants you to do. He that's wants you right. to give up. Mm -hmm. Because he knows the anointing that you carry. Jesus, he Jesus. wants you to shut your mouth. Yeah. He don't want you to preach. Uh -huh. He don't want you to teach. Uh -huh. He don't want you to help nobody. Yeah. He wants you to close your mouth. He don't want you to say Jesus. All right. No. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes, Wonderful good. thing. Good. He wants you to hush yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. your mouth. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I believe that the Bible says to cry out uh -huh. and go, Spare up! Mm -hmm. That's word. Mm -hmm. God knows everything that there is to know about yes. us. Yes, he does. And God knows how far to stretch us. Yes, he does. And you may think that he's not uh, with you during your hard times, mm -hmm. but God is right there with you. Yes. Amen. God yes, is right there by your side. Yes. What he's looking for is for you to trust him. Trust him. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Trust him. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on to him. Thank you. Not Jesus. let go of him. And see, that's the thing that we don't understand is when we get away from God and we fall away from God, it's not because he let us go, it's because we let him go. Amen. Oh. That's right. Amen. God says that I haven't lost any of them that God right. has given right. to me. Right. But we let him go. Amen. Yes. So God Thank wants you. to get us back into the place where we will trust him. Yes, in everything that we go through, in yes. every trial that we go everything. through, God Thank just you. said to trust me. If yes, you have to go into 70 years of captivity, Thank you go into well, 70 yes, years Lord. of captivity. But trust. I'll be in that captivity Jesus. with you. Just like they were in the, in the furnace, yes, the fiery furnace. Yes, uh, the king said, oh, I looked in there, there was three. So I looked in and out, there was four. Uh -huh. That's because God will get right into yes, the will. midst of I your trouble. He will get right into the yes, midst Lord. of your struggle. Yes, Lord. Uh, oh, thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Mm. Jesus. But you've got to trust him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He knows that we need to complete this process. Yes, Lord. What process? Jesus. The potter's wheel. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. He knows thank that you. we need to complete that. Wonderful, wonderful. There are some that are in this body that are on the potter's wheel even right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I pray that they will stay on that potter's wheel yes, because Lord. God is through them. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's because when they get off that potter's wheel, mm -hmm. the anointing that's going to flow out of Jesus, them is Jesus. going to be something yes, extra. Yes, Lord. God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God only desires our best. So during those times that God is reworking us and remolding us, we have to be patient and we have to seek the Lord for what direction? Amen. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah, the 29th chapter, I believe it's the 13th verse, it says, and ye shall seek me. Mm -hmm. And do what you're going to find me when you so search for me with all of your hearts. Yes, Lord. And so, in my closing, it's time for the people of God to move to another level yes, of Lord. maturity. Amen. We cannot stay where we are right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, that's good. Why? Because you have a new body. 
All right. Because you have a new mind. Yes. And a new body and a new mind that requires a mature saint. Amen. Uh, you can put new wine mm -hmm. into wine. Oh Old wine skins. Yeah. And so a mature saint is one who has endured the brokenness. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they have been restored. Yes. Hey. And they overcome some things. Yeah, thank you, Lord. And they've outgrown some things. Mm. And they have released some things. Yes, Lord. And they've gotten over some things. Uh -huh. And they turned over some things. Yes, Lord. And so now you mm. qualify to enter into your new season. Mm. Mm. Jesus, God. thank you, Lord. That's good. Mm, thank and you. it's only after we have experienced the potter's will yeah. uh, that he can release mm -hmm. our broken and restored spirits yes. without the flow of impurities yeah. being transmitted yes. to others. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Before we can become reconcilers of others, All right. we must endure God's expectation mm -hmm. of yes. us. Jesus. How many you want to endure God's expectation? Yeah. Amen. We must remember then that the expectations are the twofold. As he pours himself, the blessing, into us, mm -hmm. he expects to see himself revealed through us. All right, right. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The more we reveal God in us, mm -hmm. he in turn reveals us to the world. Know, Jesus. Lord, all right. God mm -hmm. needs you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. He's called you. Mm -hmm. And so the reason why we have to reveal him, as I say this all the time, and I've said it tonight, Jesus is not recognized. He's revealed. He's revealed. Right. Amen. Right. The blessings will not follow us, but they will overtake us. All right, amen. Will not only follow us, but they will overtake us. Yes, Lord. And so we've got to be in the position for God to pour himself within us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as he pours himself within us, then he will be able to release himself out of Yes, Lord. There are going to be some people that God's going to place in your life that only you can minister to. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. Amen. When He releases that person to you, it means that He's already anointed that person's hearing. Uh -huh. All right. He's already anointed their heart. Jesus. He's already called them into the kingdom. Yes, Lord. Yes. But he's looking for the body that's going to release himself. Mm -hmm. And we know that God is a spirit, but a spirit without a body is illegal. All right. <laughs> so God needs a body to work through. Amen. Isn't it good that he's trusted us? Yes, the Lord. With his Amen. anointing? Yes, it Isn't is. Isn't it good that he knows that when he calls us that we're going to obey him? Amen. And so there will be people that God will put right into your presence only for you to minister to. Wow. You're the only one that will have the word that they can confirm in the spirit that God has already put Amen. in Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. I know you feel that sometimes you go out and you're witnessing the people. Yeah, I saw this girl. She was standing there and I walked up to her and I was just telling her about Jesus and she was crying. And she was in the... No, God had already touched her heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Say nothing. Yes. Yes. That's, that's true. He, all, he sent you to that court. Mm -hmm. yes. You just don't know he sent you to right, that court. Right, right, right. But this is what God is telling us to do. Yes. Go out and to what the highways and the hedges and do what? Compel. Compel, Compel them. Yes, Lord. To come in. Amen. And he says, what I want you to do is you teach them everything that I've taught you. Yes. Right, right. right. Amen. Amen. Jesus. So the thing that we need to know, that people need to know, is who Jesus is. That's right. That's Amen. right. And I remember that he was talking to the disciples, and he said, who do men say that I am? Right, mm -hmm. yes. He said, oh, some say John the Baptist, some say mm -hmm. Elisha, some say somebody, a good old preacher. Yeah. Then he looked at Peter and he said, Peter, 
who do you say that I am? All right. God has to know that we know who he is. Amen. He said, who do you say that I am? Peter did not have the answer to that. Peter was still in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost had not come yet. Amen. But the anointing of God rested upon Peter's mind. Yes. And Peter said, Thou art the Christ. That's right. Amen. He said, You're the Son of the Living God. God. Yes. 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 He said, Flesh and blood, Peter, has not revealed this mm. to you. Yes. It hasn't revealed it. Flesh and blood can't reveal mm -hmm. this to you, but my Father, which is in heaven. Yes, Lord. Thank he you. has to reveal mm -hmm. Christ. And so he said, I want you to take this knowledge now, mm -hmm. and you take it to the street, and this is what I want you to preach to others. We go out, we preach all kinds of messages in the pulpit, we preach everything but Jesus. Mm -hmm. Come on. Right. Right. Lord, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But Paul said, I know nothing except Jesus Christ and what? Yeah. He yeah. crucified. Yeah. That is the gospel. Amen. I mean, that it says that in the book of Romans, for I'm not ashamed mm -hmm. of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's right. It is. Yeah. For it's the power of God yes, it is. to salvation. Yes, it is. To <coughs> them that believe. Yes, Lord. And I'm going to preach to the Jew, but I'm also going to preach to the Gentile. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said, because for they're in, they're in what? They're in the gospel. The is the righteousness of God what? Revealed. Revealed. The righteousness of God is revealed. We have to reveal him yes. to the earth. Yes. Exactly. And so out of your treasure, God's going to give you the anointing to release it into the world. Yes, Lord. I hope you say yes. Yes, yes Lord. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank the you. The Clark sisters used to sing a song I, I've done right now. That the question was, is my living in vain? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, is my preaching in vain? Uh -huh. Am I wasting my time? Can the clock be rewind? What was the answer? No. 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 Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> it's not all in vain. Why? No. Because of the road is eternal gain. Is eternal gain. Right. Yes. And that's where we're going. Up the road to eternal gain. Amen. But the bottom line is that Jesus said that I would that no man would perish. Yes. But they would all come yes. to eternal life. Yes. So there is a greater expectation that God has for us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Put your hands together. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank God has anointed you. Yes. He has placed his spirit in you yes. so that you can reveal him to the world. Yes. Amen. Yes, Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. I say it, I say it. <laughs> you are a revelator yes. to the world of who God is uh -huh. and to what he can do. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That makes me feel special. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> I'm excited just thinking about it. Jesus, who has all power, is in me. Yes, He's in you. Thank you. So that we can go out this church and reveal him to those that do not know who yes. he is. Amen. Oh, Amen. Yes, it yes, it is. Is. Thank yes, it is. You. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. If you're not ready to reveal him, stay on the wheel. Stay on the wheel. Stay on the wheel. Stay on the wheel. And let God continue to mold you and shape you. All right. Thank you. Until you're ready to go out Hallelujah. and reveal him. To this world. Amen. One more time, give God a hand for you. Hallelujah. We thank and praise, Amen. Uh, Pastor Blaze for giving us what God gave her. Amen. Amen. We thank and praise God for the word. Amen. Amen. Uh, we're going to ask, Amen, to uh, sacrifice an offering tonight. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. It's quiet in here. <laughs> all right. Amen. Is that all right? It's just all right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Come on. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Before I said, I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. 
I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. I'm singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad. Come on, church. Yeah, Jesus, Jesus lifted me. Oh, yes, you know. I'm so glad. Oh, that Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. I'm singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm saved and sanctified. Cause Jesus lifted me. You know I'm saved and sanctified. Oh, because Jesus lifted me. Saved and sanctified, cause Jesus lifted me. I'm singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad, so glad that Jesus lifted me. You know I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. I'm singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Saved and sanctified. Saved and sanctified. Why? Because Jesus lifted me. You know I'm saved and sanctified. Because Jesus lifted me. Saved and sanctified, cause Jesus lifted me. I'm singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Amen. Has everyone given? Amen. 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 Let us stand. And I just want to remind you for the prayer, the fasting that will begin at midnight tonight and go on until 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. And we will be having prayer right here in Zion Church in Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to focus our prayer for our pastor. Yes, amen. 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 The mandate was set on Sunday. That's right. And the man of God told us what to do. Pray fast. Amen. And that's what we're going to do. Amen. We want to see our pastor back yes. in church yes. preaching and teaching amen. the word of God. Amen. Yes. And so that's what we're going to do on tomorrow. And again at midnight, we will be meet here at Seven o'clock tomorrow night for prayer. Amen. Amen. Uh, with uplifted hands, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For your word that we've heard on today. Yes, Lord. We ask, oh God, that you will bless yes, the messenger, oh God. Yes, Lord. That your anointing rest upon her. Yes, In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, bless her for the sacrifice that she made upon yes, tonight. Lord. Bless us as your people, oh God, that we will. We, we, we will stay upon the wheel yes, if yes, we need Lord. to stay. Yes, yes. Use us for your glory. Yes, because that's Lord. what your word said. You created us yes, for your glory. Yes, Lord. We ask, oh God, we surrender to your divine will. Yes, God, take us to our several places of the world yes, and bring us back at the appointed time. Yes, Lord. And we will give your name glory, give honor, glory. and praise yes, in Jesus' name. Yes, amen. Somebody shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah.